So tell us, do you do you ever sleep? Because it seems like you're making all these amazing movies, and then you decide to just create a cartoon show for the heck of it. Lately, I haven't slept much, but you know, the, but Roll Hunters has been in development for about uh, ten years, mm -hmm. and alone at DreamWorks for about seven, and as the series about two or three, you know, and. Uh, the heavy lifting of it happened during the post of Pacific Rim that was very long and the pre of Crimson Peak that was very long. So that's when that's when the real heavy lifting happened. And then we did the pilot in two parts. The series got approved and uh, you know, it's been fun fun dinner cool. since then. Awesome. <laughs> I, you put a jacket that used to fit you two weeks ago and it doesn't fit anymore. That's the, I, I put this this morning and I go, holy crap, this is the one that I used for the opening of Lagman. I feel like, uh, you know, like Frankenstein now. So we got to ask, so you've got, your friend uh, Alfonso directed one of the Harry Potter films. Yes. Um, and now they've got the Fantastic Beasts series yeah, yeah, yeah. coming out. If you could have put any like fantastic creature that you know isn't going to be in the movies in there, what would you If I could choose that, any fantastic creature? Any kind of fantastic creature. Dragon. If it's a dragon? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm dying to, to create a dragon. Yeah. You're well known for having such a, just a visual imagination and such a wealth of ideas. How do you narrow it down to decide what projects you're going to take best your time in and work on? Uh, 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 thankfully, I don't decide. They decide for me. You know, because uh, I wish I had a, 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 a sheet that tells me what do you want to do, but they don't. They, you know, you are, you are at the mercy of the money or at the mercy of your resourcefulness, you know. If you can make smaller movies, you make like the one I'm making right now is much smaller scale, and it means I found a way to squeeze the the belt, right. you know. But if you go for big scale like Hellboy, Pacific Rim, things like that, you you can't decide. You know, God knows Ron and I would have done Hellboy three <laughs> ages ago, but nobody is willing to give us a hundred million dollars. Right, right. So you, you, they decide for you. Guillermo, gracias por tu trabajo, excelente trabajo. Sí, um, I would like to ask you, um, in the box we have great horror writers. Like, in the what? In the box we have great horror authors like Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think are um, one of the greatest horror names of the film? Uh, uh, of the movie? I think that one. If you, if, I, do you think you're one of the greatest? Me? Like, yeah, for the horror. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I don't, I think that I, the only thing I know is that I'm, I'm when I think about what I wanted to do when I was 12, and what I'm doing now, I've been faithful to that guy, you know? That's the only thing I know. The movies I wanted to do as a kid are the movies I'm doing now. You know, and the movies that I wanted to do as a young adult are the movies that I'm doing now. So, I, the movie I'm shooting right now is a movie I could have done when I was 23. It has the same, I don't give a fuck what anyone wants quality. And I don't, I don't respond to any uh, what's in vogue, you know. At the moment of Pacific Rim, nobody wanted a giant monster, giant robot movie. Nobody was clamoring for gothic romance or Crimson Peak. I just do whatever I want, you know? And, and that sometimes means you go two, three years without making a movie. And that's why I keep busy doing other stuff, you know? <laughs> what are your dreams like? Are they as fantastic? Boring. <laughs> boring. The, I've only had two, maybe two, maybe three interesting dreams in my entire life. Yeah. One was I was... Uh, I woke up and when I was a kid, very good, okay. horrible nightmares. But as an adult, only the only one I remember, I always dreamed that zombies are chasing me on on rooftops, or I'm swimming and I'm surrounded by sharks. So I, I think of myself as very edible. <laughs> no, no, not late. No. I think you just needs to wrap up. <laughs> so very boring, really banal. I, I, I dream of the movie I'm shooting. And I, I dream of what am I going to do the next day. It's horrible. How, and how is that boring? It's very boring because it's not, it's not escapist. 
You work during the day and you work during the night. Thanks, Thanks Kira. Thank you.